Hello, I'm Charlie, and I make videos on the internet or something. And I'm here today in the glamorous Doctor Who confidential offices to tell you the tale of what happened when I visited the set of Doctor Who. Cue past Charlie with a different haircut. Doctor Who, there, and some banging. So this was my first chance to explore and find out what it's like to actually be on set, which really, as much as we tried to make it seem dramatic, isn't the most interesting looking place from the outside. There are vans, and uh, m more vans, and signs, and more signs, and, and a blue thing, and a sign telling you not to climb on the roof, because that's what people in television are notorious for, climbing on roofs. Something a little bit more interesting is the blue box cafe, or the blue cafe box, I'm not quite sure which one's right. It's kind of like the TARDIS, but uh, not like the TARDIS at all actually, it's just a blue cafe, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Generally I just felt a little bit lost and also a little bit underwhelmed. It's not very interesting, really. Or at least it didn't seem very interesting until this happened. There he is, Doctor Who. So it was boring until Doctor Who appeared with his iPod in. Okay, this is just surreal now. As I continued to wander around the set, hoping to bump into Matt Smith again, I conveniently ran into Janine. Well, hey, look at this, we've accidentally bumped into Janine. <laughs> I'm Janine. <laughs> Janine's a runner, which basically means that she's better at making tea than anyone else on the set. This is something I can verify. It's quite nice. Yeah, <laughs> lovely, thank like you. It. She's also the lady with all of the snacks. Very exciting. Can I have one? Or are they... Absolutely, oh, cool, you go thank first. you. For a Freddo. Everyone does. And then Toby is ginger nuts all the way. Matt is custard creams or chocolate chips. And, uh, and everyone else is pretty much Freddo centric. So there's all the snack gossip for you. She also showed me a button which basically makes a noise telling everyone to shut up before they do a take. So now we have a completely exclusive behind the scenes look at Doctor Who, something you will never have seen before. Are we ready? Turning over. We've cut. After some more snooping, I finally came across an actual set. This is the uh, set to an episode of Doctor Who, probably. Stairway that leads to nowhere. <laughs> Magic of television right there. This is the uh, the gong. Um, nothing to hit it with, though. Pointless flashy lights that do absolutely nothing. They're just doorknobs. <laughs> They're just doorknobs. It's definitely weird trying to explore and talk about a set when you have absolutely no idea what anything is. It's also quite hard to explore a set when it starts making scary noises. I knew at least that it was one of the sets for the Christmas special, but nothing really seemed particularly Christmassy. So far, that is the only Christmassy thing we've had. That was, of course, until we found this. This one's a bit better. And things definitely got more Christmassy when I found this lovely present hiding in the shadows. This feels so wrong. Before I leave, I want to say thanks to Paul for doing all of the filming for this, and hopefully next time I'll build up the courage to, you know, go on set while they're doing some actual filming. It's the BBC title card, that means it's the end, bye!